Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a video on how to take a transparency or any other image and turn it into a 3D object in Cinema 4D. So um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and that. And we'll get back to it. So take whatever image you're using and if it's not a uh, transparency, render it out, make it transparency. Uh, or you could go online and find one that's already a transparency. So um, once you have that, right click on this and click select pixels. Or you can command or control click that. Uh, control for Windows, command for Mac, obviously. And come up here to the rectangular marquee tool, click on that, and then r right click and go to make work path. Click OK, and that'll change that into a path. And come up here and go to file export paths to illustrator click ok and save it as whatever you want I already have mine saved right there so I'm not going to do that come over to Cinema 40 and it's down here um, come over to Cinema 40 and open up a new project and then come up here to file merge objects and then select the uh, path that you exported click open and OK and as you can see barely there's a path so um, it's right there now we want to make it an actual object so come up here to extrude nerves by clicking in the box with the dots on the edges and extrude nerves and then if your object has multiple paths like this you're going to have to make an extrude nerves for each path. So uh, there's seven of these, even though it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six, nine for some reason. Um, just control C and control V, copy and paste. And then drag each path to its own individual extrude nerves. I don't know why you have to do this, but if you try to just drag the, um, the group of all of those into the extrude nerves, it just does one of them. I think I missed one because there's one missing. That oh yep right there. So I'll just get another one. Oops, not hyper nerves, extrude nerves. There it is. Oh, I didn't miss one. Never mind. I just didn't drag it in. Okay, there we go. So um, you have this now. Now if you want to go and change this uh, to make it larger or thicker, click on extrude nerves and then come over to object. And movement on the very last one make whatever uh, type in whatever you want for the uh, width so I usually use 150 just a good number and you have to do this for every single one of the extrude nerves so um, if you have one it won't take as long if you have seven it might take a little bit longer um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick I'm not gonna cut though because I can do this pretty pretty fast but um, when you're done with it, you group it together, like I'll show you in a second, and then you can make a new texture and color it from there, which will make it look good. Now, oh no, um, I would recommend either making your own Lightroom, or if you're new to Cinema 4D, go and find one. But if you're doing this for um, a specific thing or a specific graphic, Make sure you credit whoever made the Lightroom because that is kind of the proper thing to do, I guess. So, um, shift click from here, or just click that and then shift, hold shift and click down here to select all of them. And then you can right click and group objects. I didn't do that right. So now we have this, you can go make a uh, texture, whatever color you want. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You drag it on there. Um, if you wanted to look not so blocky, you could go into to each one of these, click um, extrude nerves, or on the extrude nerves, and click caps. You go to fill a cap for both of these. Then it will look a little bit better. Let's render this now, it's going to look a little funky. Yeah, see over here it's 
flat and over here it's just a little bit more rounded. Um, if you render it like that for some reason, um, I don't know why you would without any lights, it's just going to look like that and it's going to look really messy. So messy. But if you go make your own Lightroom or Lightbox, then you can have something that looks like this. Um, this can take a minute to render out, but uh, it gives you better results and it looks way better. You actually really need Lightroom or any lights to have a good render. So yeah, there you go. Um, if you wanted to render this out to where this was just a PNG, what you have to, or not a PNG, but a transparency, what you have to do is come up to settings and click save and alpha panel right there. When you save it, it will save this image and it will save a black and white image where whatever text or objects you have in here is white and everything else is black. Or if you want to do it the even quicker way, um, make a green, oops, a green texture, what's it color, and then on the background, make that background green, and then you can go into Photoshop, or I mean online, and download a chroma key plugin for Photoshop to get rid of the green and give you a better render. That's what I did. If you're not like the master <laughs> at rendering stuff out, or cutting stuff out, uh, to make it transparency, I would do this. It'll look really funky when you try to render it on here, but in the end you get a good um, render Oh, that's not cool. I have a whole bunch of space being needed right now. So yeah, um, as you see, that looks really funky. But if uh, you come into view, uh, that's my background. That's what I made out of that. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. As you can see, I have that right here the filter and uh, this is online if you go look if you just type in Photoshop chroma key plugin that's probably the first thing that's going to pop up don't go for the pro version because it makes lines on the, uh, the render which sucks so yeah click on the free version and um, once that finishes cutting that out then you'll have the green free <laughs> version of the picture uh, transparency. So, yeah, there you go. Um, when you're done, you can drag that into another project or just use it and make your own background and stuff. So, um, if you want to save that and make it not look pixelated, go to File and uh, Save to Web Devices. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'll see y'all guys later.